This video provides a high-level overview of the administration tools available for your organization. To access the admin tools, click the gear icon at the bottom of the left navigation bar. If the gear icon is not available to you, that indicates that your user profile is not set up as an administrator for your organization. Work with your local admin to get you the access you need. The admin tools are organized into sections, which you can access using the labels along the top of the page. The Members section displays your organization's current users, any inactive members, and pending member invitations. To invite a new member to your organization, click the Invite Member button. The Teams section shows all the teams that are set up for your organization. Teams allows you to structure your organization and control which members have access to data depending on each team's activities and each user's role within the team. Users can be members of multiple teams. By default, your organization will have one team that includes all of your users. You can add new teams by clicking the Add New Team button. Roles determine what a user can and cannot do with the data in your system. Roles are highly configurable and they are the primary way to set permissions to different features of the system. There are five different roles. Org Administrator, Team Administrator, Ops Viewer, Data Owner, and Member. Many organizations can operate using just these default roles, but you can add a new role by clicking the Add Custom Role button. You can find more information about teams and roles on our support site. The Devices page lists the iOS and Android devices that have been added to your organization. You can use this page to deactivate devices as needed. The Notifications page provides customization options for email notifications. You can define the frequency, recipients, and types of notifications to send. The Settings page contains sections for setting up your organization including basic info, default location, and the organization's image or logo, password requirements, multi-factor authentication, and UAS operation settings to submit NOTAMs. And finally, the subscription page displays information about any additional subscriptions to add-on features that your organization is signed up with. Thanks for watching.